Hi guys, welcome back to the iCandy channel. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the GH5's XTeller conversion function and whether or not it's actually worth using it. Like, I made a previous video about how great the XTeller conversion function is because it allows you to crop in to about double um, your focal length. Meaning, let's say for example, you're, uh, um, you're seeing my face like this. With the XTeller conversion function, you'll be able to see like this. And this is actually done in camera. And even if your lens doesn't isn't able to zoom in, you can do this. Of course, the only way to actually do this is by stopping the recording and then pressing the XTeller conversion function. And I've actually used this as a shortcut so I can access this quickly. But really, I'm starting to figure out there's a huge loss in quality when using the X teleconversion function. And I'm, I'm beginning to realize that the better option is to use 4K recording and then cropping in that way, and then you have no loss of quality. So right now, let's do some pixel peeping to see the amount of difference in quality that you're getting when you're using the X teleconversion function versus using 4K and then and cropping in to get a closer kind of angle. So without further ado, we'll start our test by looking at the amount of noise we're getting when we're doing the uh, x -Tele conversion. So we're about to switch x -Tele conversion on right now. Okay, so we're in x -Tele conversion right now. Um, I'm not sure how much noise you can see because it's, it's really bright daylight, but let me darken things up a little bit by increasing the aperture a lot. And I think at this point, you'll be able to see the, uh, the noise uh, very much on the wall just behind me over here uh, where's my hand in this image over here if you look behind me you may be able to start seeing the noise uh, maybe you will crop in to 200% just to see the amount of noise that's coming into this image let's darken it a little bit more okay so now I'm filming in 4k and of course the quality is going to be much better and now I'm going to crop into this image um, much much closer and we're going to look at the back over here but first let me um, darken of course the image I mean there's no comparison really 4k is obviously all the pixels are there there's no loss of quality but what I found with the GH5 is that when you crop in with X -tele conversion, you're actually getting a ton of noise in the image and that noise can almost render the footage unusable in many situations. So really, I'm beginning to dislike this function in the GH5 and I'm liking more using 4K filming. Now, uh, another thing I wanted to mention is I actually have a GH4 as well. And the GH4 seems to have less of a noise issue when cropping in with XTele conversion. But I've tried pixel peeping with it, and it's very, very difficult to tell the difference. They're very similar. There is a loss of quality in XTeller conversion. So I highly recommend using 4K and cropping in. So let's first do the similar test. Of course, we're not going to get any noise in this image because it's just cropping into a 4K image. Okay, so this was the Eye Candy channel, trying to help you get the best footage possible. So for all your filmmakers who aren't subscribed, please subscribe now and like the video if it helped you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.